Hi everybody, welcome back into Mama Angel's Kitchen. Welcome, it is Tuesday afternoon and I've got what I believe is a real quick and simple but delicious recipe for us today. We are gonna have chicken and waffles. I don't have any makeup or jewelry or anything on today. I am just a little bit under the weather. I'm good, I'm just a little under the weather. But I have wanted to do this video since Sunday. The wings have been in my refrigerator, thawing out or thawed since Sunday. So I want to go ahead and get this done today and it's going to be my lunch and I'm excited about that. So here we go. Let's go ahead and go over these ingredients real quick. I've got four whole chicken wings. Okay. They're nice size and I want to leave them whole just like this. I'm not going to cut them up and fry them just like that, okay? Uh, for the waffles, just use whatever your favorite waffle blend is uh, or pancake mix. This is just a just add water mix, okay? Nothing fancy. We're going to need one egg. We're, of course, going to need some butter. That's the, for our, um, our waffles. And then we're going to need some flour to dredge our chicken in and I'm going to season up that flour with the same season blend I'm going to season up this chicken with and that blend right here I've got girl, onion powder garlic powder um, sazon turn it this way we've got some salt and pepper and on the measurements guys I've got um, a tablespoon and a quarter tablespoon of the salt and pepper, of the a half teaspoon of the, sorry guys, this is smoked paprika. And then I've got a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and then a whole teaspoon again of the Maggie Pollo. I will definitely have these um, down in the description box below, okay? So don't worry about that at all. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up real quick here. Get this chicken seasoned and get it sitting aside. Okay. Let that spice sit in it for just a little bit. This is typically something I would do and let it sit overnight. But I'm not going to do that tonight. Today, we're going to go ahead and cook this right up. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and give these a mix. Uh -huh. Now, I have read some of the comments that's come in. I haven't had a chance to respond to all of them yet. But uh, a few people have been asking me, what's that chirping in the back? <laughs> well, I'm taking care of that chirping. That was my smoke detector. Um, they needed a new battery. And I've got seriously high seizing, high ceilings um, in this home that we're in right now. And that just happened to be one of them that was super high and I had to get my ladder out of the garage and get up on the ledge to get that changed. And so I finally got that taken care of. Okay, guys, I've got this all seasoned up. The next thing we're going to do with that, I'm going to go ahead and crack an egg in here. Oh, come on. There we go. And then I'm going to go right in with my hand. And mix that egg down in there on this chicken. This makes that chicken so um, crispy. It really does. It also gives it some tenderization. And that's why I do like to do this um, for at least three hours or an hour even. You know, any length of time. Up to overnight. Okay? Um, if you watch my video for my baked um, buffalo wings, this is the technique I use there. And I did let that sit overnight, okay? But this is what this is looking like. And I'm just going to let this sit aside. 
<clears throat> get my oil hot and get it ready and then mix up my seasoned flour and then we're going to head over to the stove and get these babies fried up all right i'll be back all right guys i'm back let's go ahead and get this chicken dredged down in this flour and then i'm just going to set it on this plate here and let it sit until my oil is hot and ready to go um, I've got my oil heating up and I'm just using a vegetable oil. Okay, I'm just gonna take the chicken right from here, dump it in the flour, give it a good dredge. Like I said, I'm just using the vegetable oil. Um, there we go. And I'm not speaking quite as loud today because um, it's nap time at my house. So we've got a sleeping baby and I don't want to disturb her nap time. Uh, but I did want to get this done. Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put you on pause, dredge the rest of these chicken wings, and then I'll meet you over at the stove and we'll get these babies fried up. And then we'll get our waffle made and it's lunchtime for mama. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, here we are over at the stove. Let's go ahead and get some wings fried up. I've got my oil on a medium high. And the way that I check and see if my oil is ready is I just get a pinch of flour like this and put it right over top of that oil. If it sizzles up like this, hopefully you can see that. But I've showed you guys that before, I believe. If it sizzles up like that, you know it's hot and it's ready to go. If you're one that uses a thermometer, then you want your oil at 350 degrees, okay? Let's go ahead and drop these wings. That baby in there. And let's drop it like that. Shaking off that excess. And it really helps your crust to develop well if you let it, um, if you let the flour sit for just a minute and really adhere to that protein, okay? All right. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to find a place for this fourth one. So I'll be back and give you a look-see of our update and then I'll get everything ready for our waffles, all right? I'll be back. All right, guys, here we are. Time for waffles. First of all, let me show you this gorgeous chicken. Look at that. All I did with the chicken, guys, I let it go until it got nice and beautiful golden brown like this. And then I put it on a paper towel. This plate was lined with paper towel. Put it on there just enough to drain that oil off and then take it immediately off of that paper towel so it doesn't reabsorb back into my chicken. This is beautiful. All right, I'm going to be waiting now for this light right here to turn green. Once this turns green, I'm going to give this a spray and get my waffle on here. I've already been making waffles for the rest of the family. They're eating theirs, and there's my green light. And it's mama's time now. It's time for my waffle. Let's give this a good spray. Top and bottom. And I use, see if you can see me here, I use just a, um, it's a half a cup, measuring cup, literally. And that's how I measure out. And it comes out just about perfect. Okay, and I've just got a little bit left in there, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Just perfect. All right, go ahead and close this down. And then when the red light comes on, my waffle will be done, and I'll come back and we'll give this a taste. All right, here it is, guys, chicken and waffles. Boy, I am excited about this one. I have never had chicken and waffles. I mean, when it was all a rage, I had never tried it. I kept saying I wanted to, but here it is today. Isn't that chicken beautiful? Look at that, guys. Just beautiful. And that waffle, perfect. 
perfect. And I get it nice and thick and fluffy like that. The thicker your batter is, the fluffier your pan, your pancake or your waffle will be, okay? All right, let's get in here and let's give this baby a try. I've got here some maple syrup that I've heated up in the microwave. So it's nice and warm and ready to go. Let's go ahead and give a drizzle. I want a little bit of a drizzle on that chicken also. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There it is, right there. Right there. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let, let's do the chicken first. Let's go for the chicken with that syrup on it. Look at that. Look at that, baby. Oh, baby. Come on. Work with me. There you go. Oh, man. Y'all know the flats. That's my favorite right there. That's it. I like that flat. Oh, look at the inside of that baby. Look at that crust, y'all. Look at that. That is fantastic right there. I can't wait. I can't wait. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That crushed? Mm-mm-mm. Gosh. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, oh, man. That's fire. <laughs> that is it right there. Let's get in here on this waffle. You see? Maybe you can see me, maybe you can't. But let's get in here on this waffle. This baby is fluffy. Oh, man. And I'm not one. I don't like my waffles real dark. Okay. Let's see. I like them nice and soft. I know some people like theirs nice and crunchy. I like mine soft. Let's see. Oh, boy, guys. Look at that. Look at this. Uh-huh. Get a gander at that baby. That is beautiful. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> this is wonderful. I am going to enjoy this. This is my lunch today. And I'm going to enjoy every single bite of it, guys. This will make me feel better. <laughs> Already. Guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, come on in and join the party. I am definitely going to keep them coming. I'm loving this. And for my new subscribers, thank you. Thank you and welcome. Welcome into Mama Angel's Kitchen. All right, guys. I love you. You stay prayed up. And I'll be back soon with another video. Have a great day.